Okay, okay, so this is what I'm going to do. Ooh, look at that. I'm going to take that first. So what I'm going to do is I am going to put down CSR Racing 2. Um, that is by far one of my most favorite games. I want to go on ahead and go to <sighs> UB and we're going to play the darn game. We're going to talk about some of the features. I'm even going to stop using my tablet here and flip it over. I actually like that it says, Welcome back, Commander. That's kind of cool. So like I said, this is a tap tap game. Ah, darn it. There we go. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to play a couple of rounds here. And just just introduce you to this game still sucks. But it is a good time waster. It's not a great game, it's a good time wasting game. So we've got the guild over here. We've got events. And I'm going to show you I was actually in the events. I don't want to do no clans or guild and all the other stuff. But when it comes to raid, um, allies, raid, I played that for a minute. It's actually kind of tough. Um, I didn't do anything here. But I did do something here because I want Briggs. Briggs is my buddy. I'm trying to get Briggs. I got him now. I unlocked him. But I still need to finish his mission. I touched on this mission over here. Um, I don't know why I didn't finish that one, but I did touch on it the other night. But with one of Briggs, the downside was the people... I'm going to go ahead and tap, tap, tap on it real quick. So I finished one, two, three, four. When I scroll down here, this next mission that's available, those guys are skill rating at 7200. And my guys currently, right now today, is at 68 or 60 something hundred. So I can't fight these guys without getting wiped out. So screw that. So I'm gonna go back. It just tabs. The next thing is they do have a vendor. UB wants their money. Lower this real quick. Again, like I said, I am not gonna pay five dollars thirty dollars twenty five dollars twenty five dollars i ain't paying for this here i just want to play the game in a stupid form you know what i'm saying it's so like free what else we have um orbit orb i think i just unlocked this here i don't know what it does um hmm oh these are crates Ugh. oh my god they're selling crates Pretty sure I don't have the money for this. Yeah, because I only have 245 gold bars. I need 450 gold bars. Yeah, like I said, I am not going to put money into this here, so screw that. No, not going to happen. So, let's get back to where we were. Right now, I've been playing the campaign. The campaign is really not that bad. It still sucks, but it's not that bad. I have allies that I can go for. As you can see, I only get 7%. I also have, um, this is the main campaign here, um, Umbra. I explained that in the last video. And this is what I mean by um, enemies and the numbers. The person I'm going to fight right here is 5,800. I'm going to go ahead and deploy. And at six right next to the deploy, that's how much it's going to cost me of this to go out and fight, which is okay. So, um, like I said, I like Briggs, so I'm trying to actually get him to be um, as strong as Jing Jing or whatever this guy is, Nin Jing or whatever his name is. Um, these are upgradable panels, and I've left this just for you guys to see and gals to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade her. I'm going to train her so she can be, it's costing me in the game, level 15. Hoorah. And you can see where she's from. She's actually from, um, what's that game? The first Ghost Recon Wildlands. So as it, we're not going to touch him. Midas, Midas, 
he's my MVP. I'm going to leave him be for now because he's too damn good for his good, for his own damn good. I am going to train Walker because he's just a badass. I mean, come on, he's, he's a badass. So he's been trained. Everybody else has been trained except for Midas. And I'm not being a bad person here. I don't want to mess. Did I, did, I, did I train Midas? Oh, I took him off. Okay. That was an accident. Just to let you know, you can take people off your roster if you want to lower your score. You see how it's now it's 58-77? So more of an even match with the bad guys. But I want it to be uneven. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking, keeping Midas out, and I'm going to swap him out for this guy here. That's Emil from Splinter Cell Double Agent. So now my score is 72-11. So my unit's going to go out. This scenery is actually from Tom Clancy's division. This is at the post office. Division 1. Now, game starts off. My guys are shooting. Those guys are shooting. I've hit the button so that I can select something. A target here. My question is, who do I want to attack? I'm looking at a thing that's over here. I see a regular 11, elite, elite, elite. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my missiles, because I have a missile attack that I've got set up, put in the dead center so that I can weaken that middle guy, soften the guys on the, on the top and bottom, and that medic, that elite uh, medic, he's going to panic and go and try to save his buddies. So this is going to be a trap that I'm setting up. Watch what happens. So he's weak. They call in the airstrike, but look how weak this guy is. He's reloading. Down. The medic isn't doing their job. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to call another airstrike. So now it's overwhelmingly going to take over those guys. Boom. Now, here's the downside. The boss has actually showed up. So I'm going to tap to continue, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to give, because I do have a medic pack here, I'm going to give my weakest guy, number 13 over here, um, level 13 guy over here, I'm going to give him a medic pack to help him su survive a little bit. There you go. And in two more seconds, I can do another airstrike. Now, let's make a decision. Do I attack this guy over here? Those two over there, those two are medics, but this guy, he's a badass. I'm going to hit him real hard. Because he was sending rockets or something over there. Come on. There you go. Now he's by himself. All my guys are still alive. No, None of my people died. I like that. I like it when my people don't, don't die. And victory. So I got all the things down there, the thingies. And of course, this is going to be my number one guy. He is actually um, the the strongest character that I have. So I'm going to deploy the next one too. Now I see I've got an upgrade available for these two guys. So what I'm going to do is... We're going ahead and upgrade them. I don't know why I seem to have so much money in this game available. Oh, I don't have that much money because apparently I'm, I'm low on something. So I was only able to upgrade one instead of everybody this time, which is okay with me. So this is what it's going to cost me to go out and go fight the next batch of people. I could have saved a little bit by getting rid of um, one person. Seriously? There we go. We give combat aid to that one guy over there. And you see that's a, that's a freaking medic there. I'm just going to let this ride. I'm going to let it ride because my guy should be able to take out this, these last two people 
without any um, involvement from me. As you can see, it auto plays. So what I'm going to do this time, oh, Emil was the number one person. What I'm going to do this time is I'm going to go to, um, I clicked on Emil on the left-hand side. So you can see the breakdown battle report. Emil was my MVP this time. He did the most work. Briggs did some stuff too. Um, Walker, Walker killed three people. Look at you, Walker. Well, let's look into it a little bit deeper. Let's go to um, mitigation. That's the reason why. This guy, he did the most mitigation, and, you know, he's a good fighter. He's also the one I just upgraded. Nobody gave aid to anyone. And, oh, Montanji, or whatever you call his name. Um, he, like I said, he is the, the toughest and strongest person I have. That's how that rolls. Oh, I just leveled up again. Now I'm level 16. So that's a little bit more of the actual gameplay. I mean, the game sucks, but... Is this something you could enjoy? Yeah. I, I think it is something you can enjoy. Because I really just want to finish um, saving bricks. That's, that's all I... Oh, you know. All I care about is bricks. <laughs> I am biased. <laughs> I am so biased. So come on, Briggs. I wish he had a better gun. His gun sucks. All right. I'm going to use a little bit of strategy on this one here. I am going to, because this is this and this is that, I'm going to take him off the roster and see if we can deploy it and save some money. So I hit the mid the middle guy with the airstrike. That was good. Ooh. Somebody needs some help there. So this person's gonna be gone. Awesome. Next one. He should be falling next. Got him. No reason to do an airstrike. I'm saving my airstrike in case a boss is coming. Yep. A boss or somebody or a second wave is coming. So I'm gonna let's look at this real quick. 11, 11, 11, ooh, 12, get him. There we go. Come on, guys, just take him out. Come on. Whoa. Oh, that's grim. No, I'm not reading this. Okay, I still won. This is missing right here in the center because one of my guys did die. But Briggs was number one. I only care about Briggs. Okay, so we had an empty slot. I'm going to bring back someone. I'm going to bring back... Who am I going to bring back? Probably... Oh, who should I bring back? I'm going to bring back Megan. I think that's her name, Megan. There you go. I'm going to deploy it just like that. I'm not going to upgrade it yet. Okay, battle has started. Let's pause this for a second. Once you hit that button, it automatically gives you the ability to figure out what you're going to do. So we got Elite 12. Elite 12 is here. There's a 13 in the center. If I send something either here or there, I will actually affect all of these guys. So I'm going to go for the 13. 
Because my whole objective is to make the medic panic and move position. Ooh, Jesus. We need to stop that guy. Oh my God. Okay. This, I think this idiot here is shooting rockets. Okay. Whew, that was close. Oh, I guess one of my guys did die. Shoot. Yeah, so that's the end of this video. I just really wanted to show you guys um, the game, some actual gameplay. And, you know, that's, that's about it. Oh, you know what? I never upgraded uh, Megan. Megan is still like a lower... Yeah, she, she probably died on the last mission. Or got wounded on the last mission. Incapacitated. What? Oh no! It says max reach. Really? Okay. I hope not. Ready for battle. The end.